Hello everyone, this is Grace. It is April the 18th, 2022, and today we're going to be discussing the analemma. We're going to have a, we're going to approach this study a little bit differently than normal. We're going to start off with an experiment. So, I want you to and you can just play along or you can just listen. <laughs> you can you can probably work it out in your in your mind. But I want you to stand in front of a chair or your computer or something like that. And you're going to be you're going to be the sun. And the object in front of you is going to be the earth. Now instead of the earth rotating around the sun, um, we're just for this experiment, the sun is going to circle the earth. Okay? <laughs> the floor is the axis, so you have about a five degree point of air because they say there's a five degree tilt in the rotation of the earth um, around the sun right so what I want you to do is you're the sun your shoulder is going to be the hot spot and your arm is going to point from the hot spot to the earth and you're going to you're going to determine where the hot spot is on the earth the only thing is you only have five degrees which you can move at any time because the axis it goes straight across with the five degree tilt okay so I want you to point at the object with the tip of your fingers and then walk slowly around the object making sure that you stay on your axis within five degrees and I want you to gauge the shape I want you to take a gauge of the shape that is forming around your earth as you walk around. So walk around. Your fingers are pointed to, toward the earth. And you're, you're just in your mind drawing a mental line. A, a mental shape across the earth. And we're going to discuss that. So walk all the way around and back to the original position. And you're done. Okay. <laughs> now I want you to keep that shape in mind as I tell you what the analemma is. What the analemma is, if it is <laughs> if you take a picture of the sun at a particular time, say noon. So you point the camera toward the sun at noon and you take a picture on say the first. So the first you take the picture on the first and the sun is here. And you take a picture at that exact same time, but you take it on the second of January then the sun would have moved here. And so every day at the exact same time you take a picture of the sun and what you will find is that over the course of the year it will form this shape, this figure eight like shape. And it's called an analemma. This shape which your sun forms over the course of a year is a scientific impossibility given the data that they have provided us in regards to the orbit of the earth around the sun. It is impossible. The experiment that we did showed you the kind of shape that the sun would form if in, in our orbit. In 20, if you walk around the earth for a full year and you are pointing in your hot spot, the hot spot of the sun is pointing toward the earth. It will vary five degrees one way or the other, but it is never going to form this shape. It is impossible. It will form a, a fairly straight line is what it's going to form. A fairly straight line. But it will never form this. This matches this. Hold on. If this were your earth and this were your sun's rotation then this is the type of figure that you could expect. The earth, if the sun started off here and as it circled around it moved in a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more until it got to the center and then it started going back out and as it moved out it circled out a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more until it reached 
um, the outer areas and then it started coming back in that is what you would need to see in order to in order for this shape to be formed let's look at it in detail so we looked at January and we looked at the January the second and we noticed that as the Sun circled around it moved not only did it go a little bit faster than the day before because it went out further it also moved in a little bit and it continues to go faster it circles around and it ends up faster and faster and faster and each time if you can tell if you notice it's going in a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more until around let's see February the 10th we'll say February the 12th we'll say February the 14th until around February the 14th now it's going faster and faster but now February the hold on around February the 10th it starts going it's still going a little bit faster but now it's no it's going slower yeah around February the 10th it starts going a little bit slower and so it's still heading northward which is south according to the Bible <laughs> it's still heading northward but it's going a little bit slower and so it's not going out as far and it gets slower and slower and slower and slower and slower until around May 20th so May 20th it circles around and it actually surpasses May 20th and it's a, it goes in a little bit further on May 21st and it's going faster and faster and faster and you notice right around June right around June 25th it starts heading the opposite direction it's so around June 25th it's still going faster but now it's going back in the opposite direction until around June the July the 30th June the 30th oh hold on July the 30th and now it actually starts going slower again so the Sun is actually moving slower it's taking longer to make it to the exact same time because remember every day you're taking a picture at the exact same time so the Sun has rotated around but it hasn't quite made it to the same point that it was the day before so it's moving slower and it continues on until around the 30th of October and then it starts to speed up again and it speeds up again and then it starts to change directions again that's what you see here that matches the analemma the data that they have provided us in regards to the rotation of the earth around the sun it can never form this shape it's impossible that's what our experiment just showed it's impossible for it to form this shape anyway I just thought I would share that with you <laughs> I will see you in the next video